Hello, Bronx, and welcome to the second newscast of fall 2011. I'm Andrew Sanchez, alongside Diamond Flores. Interested in a different outlet for faith and its practices? Baptist Student Ministries hosted a free lunch for UTPA students on campus. Pamela Morales has more. Free lunch, live music, and prayer gathered hundreds of students at the quad. Baptist Student Ministry gave away cheeseburgers to the first 500 students. This event is the first of many to initiate free lunch on Thursdays. Every week, uh, Thursday at noon, we have free lunch at the BSM, which is right across the street from the rec center. And that has happened since 1960. The BSM has been serving lunch to college students. This event was not only to feed hungry students, but to encourage them to experience Baptist student ministry. So you can just come and uh, eat lunch and hang out with friends and also listen to a biblical discussion that is relevant to your life. Members of Baptist Student Ministry also encourage students to experience another perspective of religion. I joined the BSM because it's a really nice community where I could learn more about God and they call it a journey group and it's uh, where we get all together and we have Bible studies, we have worship, we have all these things which help you get in a community with other people and uh, learn more about God. If you would like to join BSM, stop by their office on the corner of Sugar and Schooner in front of the rec center. For Bronx TV, I'm Pamela Morales. Looking to get involved in the performing arts and sciences this year? We'll tell you how after this. Viva Mexico! Well, first of all, I love to represent my, co uh, my country. I'm from Mexico myself, and um, this, uh, this part of the group, UPB, uh, we're the heritage group. So we uh, do a lot of uh, a lot of events having to do with uh, our, our culture, basically. The 16th of September, it's all about celebrating. To me, and pretty much everywhere else I know, like down here, especially in the valley, since we're like, you know, right in the middle of Mexico and the United States, sometimes we kind of forget that we are from Mexico, and like, you know, we get so used to like Facebook and Twitter and everything and everything that that America stands for now. We forget that, you know, we are La Raza and we're, you know, all this and it's good to like to put that back in perspective every once in a while. And this is what we do, we do it well and, and it's good to never ever forget that. A local museum in McAllen is encouraging kids to become involved with their performing arts and sciences. Our very own Diamond Flotus has a story. The International Museum of Arts and Sciences turned into a funhouse of readings, music, and games for innovative children. This event gathers many other activities such as building with Legos and face painting. This is our Children's Arts and Literacy Festival. We have storytellers, we have musical groups performing, we have dramatic arts, we have arts and crafts. And we try to run the full range of literacy and arts today. For IMAS, I think it gives us an opportunity to reintroduce ourselves to folks that maybe don't remember that we're here. It's so easy to drive by the building and see that red sculpture out there and kind of think, yeah, I should go to the museum someday. And so our question to the Valley is, have you been to your museum lately? Not only did sponsors participate to run the show, but UTPA students also contributed their time and effort to this event. It feels great, gives us an, an opportunity to help the community and helps us be with the kids and see how excited they get, even for getting drawn in their faces. It's amazing. Please, how do I see the guy do this? Moreno has been practicing magic since he was six years old and continues to entertain others. I got started doing magic when I was about six years old. I was always running around the house and there was nothing that could settle me down. So what my dad decided to do was show me a magic trick. He took a little red hanky and he made it disappear. And ever since I asked where did it go, uh, I've been hooked. Every Sunday uh, we would go to a local magic shop when I was about six years old and I got my first trick there. 
and I learned it, and I did it for everybody. And then the next week, we went back and we bought another trick. So it became a really cool weekly thing with me and my dad. If I learned the trick and I did it well, I'd go back and get another trick, and so on and so on. And that's pretty much been the last 13 years of my life. Although this event comes yearly, interacting with other role models could eventually inspire for new dreams and goals. For Bronx TV, I am Diamond Flores. UTPA experienced a red carpet event by hosting the Cinesome Film Festival. Mauricio Rosso shares more. Lights, camera, and action. Cinesome Film Festival stopped by the University of Texas Pan American to promote film culture in the Rio Grande Valley. We're a regional arts organization and we promote film and um, along the Rio Grande Valley and, in, and along the border. Actress Lisa Garcia, a Michaela native, came to showcase her film, Summer Massacre. It feels really good, uh, first of all, to come home um, from Los Angeles and spend time with my friends and family. And just for them to be able to see the hard work that I worked on with this film um, feels amazing. Emmy Award winning editor Steven Escobar also showed his support for the film he produced, Summer Massacre. We definitely love to show all our movies here at the Cinecell Film Festival because, you know, this is my hometown. Uh, it, it shows that people can. People from the valley can actually pursue their dreams like I did, and I'm just hoping to inspire in future generations. For Bronx TV, I am Mauricio Razo. That concludes our second newscast for fall 2011. Stay informed with the latest updates occurring on campus and around the valley by liking our Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash TV. For Bronx TV, I'm Andrew Sanchez. And I'm Diamond Flores. Go, Go Bronx! Bronx.